Hey y'all, Boneheaded Chef here making my very first chocolate cake from scratch and I'm using the recipe that's on the back of the Hershey Cocoa Mix. Yeah, the best chocolate cake in the world. So I got all my ingredients here. So I'm gonna, um, I already got the oven preheating. I got my water heating in the micro. Okay, in this bowl, I am going to combine my dry ingredients. So I've got two cups of sugar, granulated sugar, put it in the under pan, and I'm going to put in one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. That's going in the pan or in the bowl. All right, one momento. Okay, I'm just gonna. Give that a little fork blend real quick. And let's see. I got my... Oh, let's see. Three quarter cup of Hershey's Cocoa, of course. That's going to go in yonder bowl. Let's see what else we got here. Do my ingredients. Got eggs over there. All right, um, it's my baking soda. It's a like a teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, or yeah, one whatever it is. It's written down. Um. I got a teaspoon of sea salt that's finely grounded. Okay. Wet, 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 wet. Okay. Combine dry ingredients in a large bowl. My mixing bowl. Mama gave me her old KitchenAid mixer. I got an electric mixer that I bought off a of friend when she had her pallet store. I used it once or twice, but Mama gave me her KitchenAid. I love the whisk attachment on there better. And I like the bowl. But both are good. So, just personal preference. Alright, we got them mixed in. I'm going to add two eggs. Farm Fresh came from my ladies, and they're washed. I picked out two medium-sized eggs. They're outside free-ranging right now. I gave them some kitchen scraps. They need more protein. Their um, eggshells are starting to be too thin. And the yolks are orange, but they should be a darker orange. But it's still a healthy egg. It just needs more protein added. All right. So we got rid of that. Alright, we're going to mix all the other stuff. Bear with me, y'all, because I've never done this before. The eggs. We got um, vegetable oil. I had to use peanut oil because I don't have vegetable oil. That's like a half cup. And we're also going to add a cup of milk, which I have right here. Ah, right to the lip rim there. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And we're going to put in... What in the world is this? Ah, I remember now. Okay. Now we got a, uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mine is pure vanilla extract from Mexico. And then I added a half a teaspoon also of my homemade coffee extract. It's very strong. It tastes of vodka in it, so I thought if I mix it in a recipe, it'll mellow out. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Calls for this ah, woo, boiling water, like a cup. But I also have some coffee from a percolator. So what I'm going to do, pour that coffee in here. Take about take out that much boiling water approximately. 
add my coffee to it. Ooh, ooh. Mocha, along with my coffee extract and a little bit of coffee from yonder coffee pot. Ooh, that'd be some good stuff, man. All right, what do I got going on next here? Oh, that's the water I didn't use. Durr. Okay, what's next? Mixing. Everything's in there. Da, 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 da. Beat on medium speed two minutes. Oh, stir in boiling water. I guess you stuck it in there. All right, I'll be back. I got to mix. Doggone my hide. If I could follow directions, it'd be scary. All right. Which one is the KitchenAid and which one is the generic? KitchenAid, I believe. Put it on there. Yep, it fits. Put that in there. Tighten it. Stabilize it. I see you in three. Alrighty. We got cake guts, I believe. It's supposed to be thin, I guess. I don't know. Let's take the attachment off. <coughs> hey, get in there. Get in there and soak, would you? All right. I like to unplug my mixer for safety. Safety, safety and sandwiches. That line is from Disney's The Kid, where Bruce Willis, he's like this PR man and he's a jerk. And then all of a sudden he becomes a kid again inside his adult body. And he's freaking out. He went to a psychiatrist. Oh, it's a powerful medication, very powerful medication. Well, she gives him some. And he's making sandwiches in his well, he doesn't turn into a little kid. His younger, his eight-year-old self shows up in his apartment. That's what it is. So he's making sandwiches and he's freaking out. And he's going, safety, safety, safety and sandwiches. So that's where I got that from. That's a funny movie. All right. So that's why I don't, I don't support Disney anymore because they went woke. Anywho, let's rock. Told me to let grease and flour to night pans or whatever you want to say but I got one baking sheet and I got my grandma's casserole bowl that I gave to her when she was alive she just loved it so I bake in it and think of her so let's start out with this pan first to see I might not even need that second one I'm not gonna look at that I'm fixing one I don't know why they told me to I guess if they're smaller pans and you can layer it I don't know but that's okay I'll make mac and cheese I make my homemade mac and cheese and I'll put it in yonder casserole bowl. It doesn't matter that there's butter and flour on the edges because I make a roux to put it in anyways. Mm. Alrighty. Hershey chocolate deliciousness. And another another company that went woke though. Doggone it. I tried using a um, generic uh, cocoa powder. Not good. I mean, I guess it's okay if you ain't got anything else pardon my redneck language if you don't have anything else but I don't like it it's cheap okay here we have it our chocolatey creaminess right there and I hope it sets up right you know because I added the coffee and whatnot but I'm gonna put it in for 30 to 35 minutes so I have a gas oven <sighs> very very warm so I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's see you in 30. I've been working the frosting. Next. <laughs> 